Hello, I'm Jarvis Cocker. I'm sat in the basement of the Gallery of Everything, which is a small gallery on Chilton Street in London. The reason I'm here is there's an exhibition that coincides with the publication of this book, Good Pop, Bad Pop. It's all based on things that I found in the loft of a house that I was clearing out. And some of those objects are in this exhibition, including this, for me, very important item. Um, this is an exercise book, uh, which at the age of 15, I wrote down my plans for world domination through the group pulp. Uh, and when I found this in the loft, it kind of convinced me that it would be worth looking through the objects to see if there were any other significant objects there. One of the first things we've got in the book is a guide to what the group pulp are going to wear on stage. It starts, strangely enough, with duffel coats, and that really mystifies me because obviously a duffel coat would be really uncomfortable stage wear because you'd be far too hot. So I think this is more just like the look that we were going to wear every day, maybe. So duffel coats, crew neck jumpers, garish t-shirts, plain shirts, rancid ties, drain pipe, pipe trousers, pointy boots, etc. So, um, yeah, I mean, as I say, I would have written this maybe when I was around 15. It moves on to, um, there's a, an early pulp logo, and then this master plan of how we're going to take over the music business, which actually... Um, when I read it, I was kind of pleasantly surprised to see it didn't involve like buy Porsche, go water skiing and stuff like that. There was this idea that we were going to form our own record company, which would then free repressed artists from the grip of uh, major record companies and, and basically revolutionize the whole music business. So that was, I was quite touched by that. that was, I thought that was a noble ambition to have at that tender age. So yeah, this... Not all the objects in the book are so rarefied as that. Like, for instance, the very first thing that we look at, I can, this isn't a spoiler, but the first thing we look at is some old chewing gum. Uh, so really, this loft contained anything. Some, some things precious, some things not so precious. Uh, but I did realize uh, over time that if I looked at them in the right order, uh, they would tell me a story, basically the story of my formative years. And that's what I've tried to put in this book. Thanks.